Hi, I'm Rachel Gray. Welcome to my cooking channel. Today I'm going to show you the fifth sauce in my series of easy Italian sauces. It's sugo alla amatriciana. If you've missed some of the other sauces in my Italian sauce series, I'll link them in the cards above. I learned how to make this sauce in Rome. Sugo alla amatriciana comes from the central region of Italy. Normally they use guanciale, which is cured pork cheek, or pancetta. And since pancetta is more readily available, that's what we're going to use today. So let's go over the ingredients we're going to need for our amatriciana sauce. We're going to need some pancetta, and I just went to my neighborhood grocery store and to the deli, and I had them slice me some pancetta and I had it done about a quarter of an inch thick. And we'll use six slices, so about a half of a pound. And then uh, we'll need an onion, some Italian tomatoes, this is 28 ounce can, Romano cheese, and if you can get Pecorino Romano, then do, that'd be great. But all I can get is just regular Romano. Pecorino Romano is made from sheep's milk. Some red pepper flakes, some kosher salt and a little bit of olive oil to get things going. And you'll need some pasta to put it on. This sauce, it really goes on spaghetti or bucatini. And I do like Barilla pasta, it's my favorite brand. Now that I've chopped my bacon and my onion, the first thing I need to do is get my pan hot. Once my pan is hot, I'm just gonna put a little teeny bit of oil just to get it started. And then I'm gonna put my pancetta in. And then I'm just gonna to start to fry that up and render the fat down. Once the pancetta starts to brown and look like this, what I want to do is take away some of the oil. You could put a spoon down there if you wanted to, but what I do is just put a paper towel down and let it absorb most of the oil. I want to have maybe a tablespoon or so left. I still want to flavor it, but I just don't want it to be swimming in grease. And I'll just discard this into the garbage. And now I'm gonna add my red pepper flakes at this point, about a quarter of a teaspoon. If you'd like a little bit more heat, you can add more. And I'm gonna add my onion. Just gonna saute those together turning the heat down. Now I'm just gonna cook it for three minutes or so until my onion's kind of translucent. And then I'll add my tomatoes. My onions have had a chance to cook a little bit and my pancetta is nice and brown. I'm gonna go ahead and add my tomatoes. Just gonna break up the big pieces of tomato and then stir that together. It smells so good. I'm just gonna turn the heat down and then I'm gonna add just a little teeny bit of salt. I wanna salt it really at the end, but I do want it to have some salt right now. And then I'll let that simmer while I boil my pasta. I want it to have a nice lazy simmer. So my water's boiling and I'm gonna put my bucatini in. I've got a 12 ounce box of bucatini here and it's a little less than a pound, but it's perfect for the amount of sauce that we're doing. And if you wonder what bucatini is, it's like a big spaghetti with a hole through it. So my pasta is al dente now, and I just used the same technique that I showed you in the other video. Um, I just kind of cut it and look at the core and to see if it's done. You just want to cook it until it's al dente, which means to the teeth. Still got some firmness to it. It's not mushy. And then I'm just going to drain the pasta and then put it right into my sauce. Before I put the bucatini into my sauce, I just want to give it a quick stir and then taste it to make sure that the salt is right. Oh, it's so good. The salt is perfect, so I don't need to add any to it. And now I'm just gonna put the pasta right in. Just dump it right in and then stir it in. The sauce will cling to the noodles. Italians don't serve the pasta white with sauce on top. They put it together. This kind of helps it marry together. And that's why I made this sauce in such a gigantic pan. Oh yeah. Just 
take the remaining sauce, put it on the top. Then we'll grate some Romano cheese over the top. Don't be shy. And one more little tip I almost forgot to tell you. Sometimes when you're using canned tomatoes, they can be a little acidic. And if that happens, you can easily correct that by just adding um, like a tablespoon of butter or so. You'll know if your tomatoes are too acidic because the sauce will taste tart. And that's not what we're looking for. We're just looking for a nice, smooth, beautiful sauce. So there it is. It's Sugo alla Amatriciana on Bucatini. It's a Roman classic, and I'm sure you're gonna love it. This is a really flavorful, amazing sauce. It's better than anything that you can get out of a jar. And it's super simple. So try it and let me know what you think in the comments below. You can find this recipe and over 200 other recipes on my blog, cookingwithrachel101.com. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Subscribing is free. And if you wanna be notified every time I post a video, hit the bell. Thanks for spending some time with me.